what makes me sick. You know what makes me so angry? I just won't symbolically lay down in front of a thrashing farm combine to save a helpless field of wheat. It's these activist, smacktivist, mamby-pamby, liberal, pico geeks. What think killing and eating animals is the worst thing in the world? Oh, the poor milk-fed veal calf, they cry. Oh, the innocent chicken with its beak cut off, they wail. Yeah, right. And right after one day's whining for animal things, what do they do? They go over and have lunch at a salad bar. That's right, a salad bar. Where a million per innocent vegetables has been killed and gutted. Hell with animals, I say, save the vegetables. Like, for example, as a hunter, I follow the golden rule. I don't kill nothing you ain't intending to eat. Well, these juice-thirsty vegetable killers, they'll pluck a poor little baby parsley out of the ground, put it on some plate for show, and then throw it away. When will this senseless slaughter of innocent vegetables end? And these activist geeks, they get all excited about milk-fed veal. They'll say, the per calf never touches the ground. It's so unnatural. I'll tell you unnatural. You ever seen a hothouse tomato? I mean a tomato what ain't never touched real dirt. Never felt a ladybug crawling on his skin. That ain't natural. But where's your whiny butt activist fighting for hothouse tomatoes? Nowhere, that's where. These so-called animal lovers think a slaughterhouse is so barbaric and cruel. Yeah, right. You ever seen a Vegematic cut through a cucumber in about two seconds flat? One minute, they're happy green vegetables. And the next, Julianne City. Somewhere out there in America... There's a million acres of oats screaming out for justice, crying for your help. <laughs> and there's a million ears of corn listening for your reply. Wake up, America. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Sally brother. Save the vegetables. Stop these juice thirsty health nuts before they kill again. I'm Earl Pitts, American, and vegetable rights activist. Pitts all.